Let's have a look at what will happen to the Earth if all humans disappeared from the world. The Earth will become very different from what it is right now. There will be a complete blackout. The lights around the world will shut off because there will not be anyone to control power plants and solar power systems will be covered in dust. There will be uncontrolled vegetation, atomic blasts, disastrous floods, pets and farm animals will starve and eventually die. Let's dive a little deeper into how our world will be if humans go extinct from this planet. Profound inside Guatemala's rainforest sits one of the most popular leftovers of the Maya development, an around 2,000-year-old fortress went to ruins called Tikal. At the point when Alan Wiseman climbed through the encompassing locale, he found something captivating en route. You're strolling through this thick rainforest, and you're strolling over slopes, said Wiseman, creator and writer, also the archaeologist and disclosing to you that what you're strolling over are pyramids and urban communities that haven't been unearthed. At the end of the day, we are familiar destinations like Tikal on the grounds that people have gone to extraordinary endeavors to uncover and re-establish their remaining parts. In the meantime, endless different vestiges stay covered up, fixed underneath backwoods and earth. It's simply incredibly exciting how quickly nature can cover us, Wiseman told Life Science. A distinctive sort of horizon. There are a few creating hypotheses for what could drive humankind to annihilation, and it is improbable that we'd all just vanish in a moment, by and by, envisioning our abrupt and complete destruction from the planet. Maybe by an at this point unseen human explicit infection, Wiseman said, is the most remarkable method for investigating what could happen to assume people left the planet. In Wiseman's exploration, this inquiry took him right off the bat into urban communities, where probably the most sensational and prompt changes would unfurl because of an abrupt absence of human support without individuals to run siphons that redirect precipitation and rising groundwater. The trams of colossal rambling urban areas like London and New York would flood not long after our vanishing. Wiseman mastered during his examination, lacking human oversight, misfires in petroleum treatment facilities, and atomic plants would go unchecked, possibly bringing the monstrous flames, atomic blasts, and pulverizing thermal radiation. There will be a spout of radiation if out of nowhere we vanish. Furthermore, that is a genuine special case. It's extremely difficult to foresee what that will do. Wiseman said, likewise, directly following our destruction, we'd leave behind heaps of waste, quite a bit of it plastic which would probably preserve for millennia, with impacts on natural life that we are simply now starting to comprehend. In the meantime, patrol squanders that spill to saturate the grounds at modern destinations and industrial facilities would be separated and reused by organisms and plants, which would presumably require many years. Relentless natural toxins, POPs, human-made synthesis, for example PCBs that as of now can't be separated in nature, would take significantly longer. Wiseman said, a portion of these these POPs might be around always and forever on Earth. On schedule, notwithstanding, they will be securely covered away. The joint fast and slow arrival of the contaminating waste we leave behind would without doubt affect encompassing territories and natural life. Yet that doesn't really mean obliteration. We really want just to gander at the bouncing back of untamed life at the site of the Chernobyl atomic fiasco to comprehend that nature can be strong on short time scales, significantly under such limits. More than many years, as structures are exposed to support harm from disintegration and fire, they would corrupt, he said. The first to bring down would be current glass and metal construction that would break and rust. In any case, unsurprisingly, structures that will last the longest are simply the ones made from the actual earth. Like stone designs, Wiseman said indeed, even those would turn into a mellowed adaptation of their previous selves. In the long run, the characterized famous horizons we know so well today would be no more. Where the wild things are Looking past as far as possible to the incredible wraps of farmland that as of now cover half of Earth's livable land, that would be a quick recuperation of creepy crawlies and the utilization of pesticides and different synthetic compounds stop with mankind's downfall. That will begin a genuine course of occasions. Wiseman said, when the bugs are improving, then at that point the plant will improve, then at that point the birds, surrounding environments, plant networks, soils, steams and seas will recuperate liberated from the sweeping impact that synthetic substances have on biological systems today. That, thusly, will urge more untamed life to move in and take up home. This progress will hasten an increment in biodiversity on a worldwide scale. 
Analysts who have displayed the variety of megafauna, any semblance of lions, elephants, tigers, rhinoceros, and bears across the planet have uncovered that the world used to be particularly wealthy in these species. However, that changed when people started to spread across the planet, hunting these creatures and attacking their living spaces, as people relocated out of Africa and Eurasia to different pieces of the globe. We see a reliable expansion in termination rates following the appearance of people, clarified Soren Farby, an instructor in macroecology and macroevolution in the University of Gothenburg in Sweden. In Australia, there is an increment in eradication almost 60,000 years prior. In North and South America, an expansion is seen about 15,000 years prior. And in Madagascar and Caribbean islands, an intense increment is seen 2 or 3,000 years prior. Without people spreading to the most distant corners of the Earth and driving down megafauna populaces, the whole planet might have been as different in these species like the popular Serengeti in East Africa is today. Farabee told Live Science, viably, there used to be enormous creatures all over, and there would be huge creatures all over the planet without human inclusion. His exploration has uncovered that without mankind's weighty species sway, the focal United States and portion of South America would be the most megafauna rich puts on Earth today. Creatures like elephants would be a typical sight in the Mediterranean islands. There would even be rhinoceroses across a large portion of northern Europe. Nature tracks down a way. The planet may ultimately become lusher and more different, yet we can't excuse the impacts of environmental change, seemingly mankind's most permanent effects on the Earth. Wiseman takes note on the inborn vulnerability in making helpful expectations concerning what will unfurl. For example, assuming there are blasts at modern plants or oil or gas wellheads that keep on copying long after we are in general gone, Immense measures of hotness catching carbon dioxide would keep on being released into the climate, he clarified. Carbon dioxide doesn't remain suspended in the air until the end of time. Our seas assume a fundamental part in retaining tremendous measures of carbon dioxide from the air. In any case, there are still cutoff points to the amount of it the sea can take up without its waters acidifying to undesirable levels, possibly to the burden of thousands of marine species. There's additionally a cap on how much the ocean can truly assimilate, which means it isn't just the unlimited carbon sink. It's not an unexpected idea to be. The way things are, current degrees of CO2 in our climate will as of now require millennia to be completely eliminated from the environment. In light of the examination he accomplished from his book, Wiseman observed that it would take as much as 100,000 years. And in the event that the ocean arrives at its cap and more ozone-harming substances stay suspended up in the environment, the subsequent ceaseless warming will prompt further dissolving of the polar ice covers and the arrival of considerably more ozone-harming substances from relaxing permafrost. This will cycle into a continuous environmental adjusting input circle. This implies that we can unhesitatingly expect the environmental changes effects will keep going long after we leave. Yet to this, Wiseman offered an expression of trust. During the Jurassic time frame, he said there were fivefold the amount of carbon dioxide in the environment as there is today, which prompted a sensational expansion in sea corrosiveness. Notwithstanding, there have probably been marine species that adapted to these limits and proceedings to advance and be essential for the planet we know today. This is to say that eventually, notwithstanding environment limits and the tremendous misfortunes they can bring about, nature generally tracks down a way, Wiseman said. There may one day be a world without people. However, However, that won't stop the remainder of the planet from soldiering on. Moving forward, is there any point in us considering what our planet will resemble without us here? Indeed, from one viewpoint, we may basically relax because of the information that, liberated from individuals, our planet would, at last, be fine. As Wiseman said, it would at last flourish. Be that as it may, taking a brief look at the envisioned future may likewise invite us to be more aware of our activities, in a bit to save our sport in the world as well. Wiseman sees an intrinsic worth in imagining a world without us, which is the reason he chose to compose his book in any case. He clarified that when he began, he was cognizant that many individuals stay away from ecological stories since it causes them to regret the harm that people are doing to the planet, and how thusly, this is rushing our death. I discovered a method of disposing of the dread component that was simply to kill humans off first, he said with humor. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, The Insight TV, and hit the bell icon for more videos. And have a wonderful day.